going to change back into the links directory and start the installation of it. So you can see now I can just copy and paste, it's so much easier. I'm going to change this to end curses because I'm not using slang. I'm not sure if it uses um, end curses by default, but um, I specified it last time. I'll specify it again this time that it's end curses that I want. Okay, that's configured. We build it with this command. I think it just takes a couple of minutes. Right, the home button doesn't work uh, remotely. I think it worked on the terminal. So again, there's some issues with um, compatibility or configuration. So um, actually one thing I'll do before I go any further is just echo the terminal. Yeah, I'm going to change that because that's not going to be compatible with anything again. So uh, I think what I'll do is modify the profile again. Uh, Vim. And export term equals X term. So the moment is X term color. If I source dot profile, now I could, that's going to be a bit more sane. That that we picked up if it needs to be picked up by anything. So now I'll do the build and wait for it to complete.
Right, so that's built. Now we're going to install it and make install help, some help files. and install doc, some documentation. So that is links completed. So in theory, should be able to run it. So it can't connect to, okay, so that obviously doesn't exist anymore, that location, um, but we can do links. Um, I can test it against my own server. Go to the LFS 1.0 page, and what's happened there? It's gone to the root for some reason. Is that because I've not put HTTP in the front of it? It's assumed that's a local directory, I think. HTTP. Oh, that's strange. Right, I wonder if it's because that's on a different domain. Um, let's try 200.mynet.org. No, let's try directly then. Right, that's why. I think it's because that computer's on a different domain because it's a server. Uh, it's just a little bit of uh, extra protection, I guess. So, yeah, if we go into book, LFS How To, and there's a book we're reading at the moment. So, why not go to chapter 15, what we're on at the moment? So, there we are. And we're on the links portion there it is there so you can see it's exactly the same text just obviously looks a bit different so that obviously all works okay and I'll tidy that up now and so that's basically the nearly all the setup done to get the tail net working we've done links on the way there I'm not going to be using it uh, the only thing remaining for the tail net server is as I say that package to install a script file to now allow this script to run correctly. Um, but as long as I keep my wits about me and not log out of this session or reboot the machine or anything like that, I should be able to complete the rest of the build in one hit um, without logging out at all. So I need to go back to yep, chapter 11. And basically need to complete all of this chapter um, and all of chapter 12 and that should be it um, it's this bit here that's missing you see the start stop demon oh it's a program it says by the looks of it oh yes it's compiled so that's the bit that's missing so once that's done we've reached the end of this page um, that that is the end of it and like I say, I'll just go on to do the bit to get a GUI up, just uh, purely for interest sake, curiosity.